they can't kill my vibe I don't fit in any type And I seen it all before So I don't really get that hype I am not impressed Boy, you sloppy, you a mess Went and did me wrong And tried to send a miss you text Beasley has issued a public apology to estranged wife Montana Yao a month after his headline-making romance with Larsa Pippen fizzled. Then, the Minnesota Timberwolves player, 24, shared a lengthy apology on Instagram to Yao, 23, after he entered into a months-long relationship with Pippen, 46, that started last fall when he and Yao were still legally married. I want to say sorry for putting you in the situation you were put in the last few months. My head wasn't where it was supposed to be, Beasley wrote, alongside a throwback photo of he and Yao cradling their son Makai, now too, in the hospital after he was born. I was looking for more when it was right here that whole time. I'm telling the world and you that there's nobody like you for me. For the record, I was the one who ended my last relationship off the fact that there's no one like you, the NBA star added. Also, for the record, I wanted to do my own stuff, cause I just left you guys and I definitely ain't the type to set up pictures at the mall and stuff as that's childish, and I'm trying to grow individually and grow a family. A real family. I ain't looking to be judged, I'm looking for forgiveness. To forgive me for hurting my family the way I did. At the end of the day, I'm a lover boy, and I miss holding y'all and loving y'all. I love you. I love you, Kai, my family, over everything," Beasley concluded his post. Stick until the end because we will show you the real reason why Larsa dated Malik, and before we continue to break down this drama, make sure to hit like, Subscribe and ring the bell to be always updated. Here we go. The Divorce Yao filed for divorce in December after Beasley and Pippin were photographed holding hands. The model later claimed that she and her son were kicked out of her home and that Beasley cheated on her with Pippin. Pippin, who was previously married to NBA legend Scotty Pippin, later claimed that Beasley was separated from Yao by the time they started dating. We have spoken about it. It wasn't a secret. I know a lot of people that are married and exiting. The former Real Housewives of Miami star said on Hollywood Unlocked in February, I've played that part. So for me, if you're not being shady and you're telling me all your stuff, I'm going to believe you. Later on, it was discovered that Pippin is excited about her next chapter, adding, Malik who? Pippin was previously married to ex Scotty from 1997 until 2015, when they initially split. Though they reconciled in 2017, they parted ways for good the following year as Pippin filed for divorce. They share four children together. Scotty Jr., Preston, Justin, and Sophia. Social Media Beef Malik Beasley issued a public apology to his estranged wife Yao over his previous relationship with Pippin, 46. While he and Yao were still legally married, Beasley, 24, and Pippin were first spotted spending time together last fall but have since split. Yao filed for divorce from Beasley in December and claimed she and her son were kicked out of her home and that Beasley cheated on her with Pippin. Addressing his apology on her Instagram story later Monday, Yao said that she and couple son Makai, too, appreciate Malik's apology. It's hard to own up to bad decisions and apologize, especially publicly, she wrote. My main priority has been and will forever be my son. So I'm glad if or when he looks back on all this one day, he can see his dad publicly apologize to us for publicly hurting us. Yao then referred to Beasley's Instagram message as a step forward in healing, before she added that she hopes they can all move forward away from the anger and hurt to be able to raise Makai with love, respect, and happiness on both sides. Yao slammed Pippin for not honoring girl code, saying she wouldn't know if it slapped her in the face, before she claimed that the reality star would call paparazzi every single day and every single man, while with Beasley. You need clout that bad at your age? Like, I'll be damned if I'm walking around behaving like that in 23 years, Yao added. All these fillers and surgery can't fix that insecure soul. Yao added, Go work on yourself, read a book, something to better your life while you still have the time. Following Yao's post, Pippin then shared a response on her own Instagram story, where she addressed Beasley and Yao, saying she could spend the whole day going back and forth about the ordeal. But woman to woman, I would never do that, especially over a man. Pippin continued, saying she wanted to clear up some of the misinformation that Yao shared. Pippin then gave some womanly advice to Yao, adding, If you ever find another man who wants you for you and not all the free press I'm giving both of you, Lock him down. Malik was a clout chaser who pursued me relentlessly before I even knew you existed. And I have all the DMs, but then again, he knows that. Pippin had previously claimed that Beasley was separated from Yao by the time they started dating. The back and forth didn't end there, though. Yao hit back at Pippin with another post on her Instagram story, in which she said, let's clear some things up, claiming that she doesn't believe Pippin's story that she didn't know she existed prior to dating Beasley. Yao said, get your story straight, love. In the lengthy post, Yao also alleged that Pippin was the clout chaser and insisted that she built her life off my own name, rather than Beasley's. 
Gal then shared a throwback photograph of Pippin next to a more recent photo of the star, where she commented on her appearance over the years. Pippin said in the interview, I googled them when I first met him. They weren't together. They had issues before. It had nothing to do with me, so I wasn't thinking anything about it. If you spent a minute googling their situation, it wasn't the ideal situation before me. The reality star added that she'll do a better job of not being public with my situation, given how much her relationship with Beasley became scrutinized. What's the point of taking a beating over a guy I had just started talking to, she said. Pippin also touched on her brief romance with rapper Future in 2015. People made more of it than it was, she said. Don't forget about Future and Scotty. The rapper released the song Rent Money in 2017, which was presumably about him stealing Pippin from her strange husband Scotty Pippin. That was stupid of him, because it was not that. He was delusional. The former Real Housewives of Miami star said of the song, It was not that. It was never that. The reality star and her estranged husband separated in 2015 before getting back together in 2017. I'm Larsa Pippen. I'm married to Scotty Pippen, who played in the NBA for 18 years. In 2018, they broke up and have been going through a divorce since then. It was like, I was really sad. I was at a point in my life when I was really sad. Pippin told Hollywood Unlocked of Dating Future, 37. I was dealing with, do I move on? Do I not? Are my kids going to be okay? It was a lot of guilt that I felt, and he was the guy that was there to see me go through it. And he was the guy that I would talk to when I was kind of like, dealing with things. He gave me confidence when I was feeling in a dark place. She added, do I want to spend the rest of my life with him? I don't think so. People serve a purpose in your life. It doesn't have to be your forever. Everyone has a time and reason for being in your life. It was never that serious. It was not like people think it was. Pippin also claimed that Future wanted to ride the wave and get some controversy by dating her. All that for promotion? We learned a lot about Larsa from this, but there's more. Larsa posted a promotional video to Instagram on Monday that teased some of the hotshots she'll be releasing on the NSFW subscription-based platform in the near future. I don't care what anyone says. Every woman can love and live on her own terms. Pippin captioned the post. Welcome to my OnlyFans. A really fun way to get to know the real me and for me to interact one-on-one -on -one with my true fans. She added, it's got behind the scenes of my wild life. Me showing off my personal favorite swimsuits and lingerie and live chats and personal DMs where we get to talk. I want to show women all over the world no matter where they are in life. They can be sexy and successful. Subscribe to my page. What are your thoughts on this drama? Let us know in the comment section below. Be sure to share this with your friends too. A little NBA drama is good for the gander. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified first when a cool new video like this comes out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.